Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy December 4th. Is that right? Or 5th? I don't know. Hold on. December 4th. I've had a horrible day. Horrible so far. Horrible. It's being rectified. I spilt my paint water here for one thing. Okay. Today in my story. Now I was going to show you this. This is my map. And it's up to part of it's on another page. But I made a code for myself. I also haven't told you this. I contained my book to three styles of journaling. A flip, a full page picture, or a grid format. Um, and I coded everything. This is way overboard, but it's nothing compared to what some of these ladies do. Um, like GGG was a grid. And then I have a topic for each day. That was as much foundation planning as I did. Now, these days with the red stars are the days I'm going to be gone. And I also have to set myself up for a filming schedule because I filmed the day before the video. Like today is Friday. I'm filming Saturdays. And when I did this, I thought I would film them ahead of time. I think I'm just going to not have a video those days or half of those days and catch back up when I get home um, because it's too stressful and I only have two more days, two full days before I leave and today is not going to be a good day just because I've had a horrible morning and it's only 10 o'clock, uh, 10 24. Um, so, so like today, uh, in the movie at this point in the movie, cause I'm going in chronological order and I'm splicing parts of the movie into the book. Um, they're catching snowflakes on their tongues on the skating rink as they're skating. So even though this was ice skating and this is a secondary topic with the ice skating, I'm okay with that because I have to stretch out. It's a short movie and a short book. I have to stretch it all out to get all the topics in. Um, so catching snowflakes on their tongues. Um, and then I came up with a grid system for today and I made, I had a filler page. I put a couple of these kind of things in so that I could have a filler page. And um, so I have cut out this page. All right, so here's the back of my skate. I made another skate in the opposite direction and just put it on the back. And I'm okay if the other skate stands out because this is kind of like a continuation of the skating because they started catching the snowflakes on their tongues. And by the way, you can watch, if you have Apple TV, you can watch it. I think it's on Netflix or Amazon Prime also for the month of December. So I have a template that I've made myself. I'm getting organized. I'm on the day four. Woohoo, I'm getting organized. And then I went ahead and like day three, um, this was yesterday's, I, full ice skating from Storybook. Uh, that meant the full page of the ice skating from the book, which is this, how I cut all that down. That was very difficult. <laughs> so, um, today I have a grid system and I can change this up. It doesn't have to be like this, but this was my thought process. And I had a bunch of, there's one of the journaling cards that Allie Edwards had in her stories by the month, um, which I am a member of and purchased had a card that had a bunch of like semi, um, they weren't, they weren't perfect circles. They were uh, different shapes because they were like this. This was one of them, and it was a weird shape. But they had black. It was on a black background. Well, there's lots of black in the Peanuts characters because they all have black outlines of their drawings. So I was like, all right, I'm going to put cut all those apart. I saw Crystal Adenate. I think that's how she says her name. If not, I'm sorry. She's kind of like a aspiring goal for me because she is unbelievably organized to a fault and so here's a snowflake half of a snowflake and I, I have to figure out something I'm going to put on this side I don't know yet but I wrote a note to myself so I cut out those circles yesterday and I painted I painted one two these are the painted ones and I wrote on some of them that had white in them 
um, I wrote, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas, frozen water molecules in the air, and no two snowflakes are alike. So that's kind of like where I'm at so far. Um, and then I was, and these are, this was one journal card, plus I added my own too. So now I'm going to proceed with my page. And wish me luck because my day has been terrible. And I made notes to myself. And I'm prepping this while my video is uploading from the day before. So I'm not really going ahead, but I am going, well, I'm only going ahead to get parts of it ready for the next day while my stuff is uploading. Oh, check out my manicure. I did it myself. Can you tell? Yes. <laughs> gel nails. I got my granddaughter and I a kit of gel nails and the little UV light and everything for Christmas, but I tested them out. I've got to put it all back in the box and wrap it up for her. Um, but I made Christmas nails. Plaid, red, and trees. Anyhow, they're driving me nuts. So I also I may I'm gonna make a border with washi tape with, with this blue snowflake washi tape. And I'm going to stamp snowflakes on this side of the half of the snowball. And maybe over here also. I don't know yet, but it's gonna bleed with blue ink. So let's let's get going here <sighs> all right so um i am speeding this up a little bit because i'm just slow and i'm trying not to freak out i've had a bad morning i think i've already told you that um so here we go we're starting with our outline um of washi tape which it messed up on me so i have to restart that's okay that's okay beth it's okay beth calm down calm down my heart's still pounding from the debacle at the ATM machine. But, okay, it's an hour and a half later. Calm down. You've had a cup of coffee. Calm down. Talked to my sister. Got the frustration out with her. Um, and here we go. So I have uh, decided that I think I am going to do the snowflakes on the snowball. That is a snowball on the left-hand side part of a snowball and I it's just a filler page but I wanted it to look kind of like a snowball um and I am going to actually I it's not a filler page I'm going to use it too um and I super love these circles from Ali Edwards and I started to do them randomly and I think I'm just going to do them in a grid pattern like I said I was going to do a grid now my grid can be loosely anything um it just gave me three top backgrounds to um, work with and not freak out over and vary them so that they look different each time, but they're still the same thing. So I'm, I have these tiny little um, uh, cutouts of the peanut characters. So I'm cutting out different ones and putting them in some of the blanks to just give it more of a peanut base and more color because there's not enough color on here. But these circles, I, they're all odd shaped except the, the ones I made are perfect around from the cutter but um I really really love how this came together I could do an entire journal just like well I might get bored but um these circles which I love circles in everything and they're not they're not perfect they have black outlines like the peanuts drawings um they're colorful love it good place for little pops of journaling and a grid and that's what happened today and I really really like this one I'm starting to find my groove, coming very slowly, but I'm starting. Um, and now I gotta put them in my book. So the snowflake goes first, I'm punching my holes. Yeah, I punched them on the wrong side. I don't know how, I guess I started on the wrong side. I'm so frustrated, so I went and punched them on the right side. I found my crocodile. And um, I'm going to cover up that side with another thing of watching tape, don't tell anybody, okay, okay. And I opened my day four for my, fun advent oh my god she's not starting it till the 6th officially but I'm starting on the days of the calendar because it's just only 15 um but some may know that the 14th is a special day for me so that's that's all I'm gonna say anyhow thanks for watching I'll see you all tomorrow bye